Hey there, so I thought I'd do a little video here, uh, show you guys um, how to hook up the internet expansion hub. Um, so I've assembled it, and I've got the uh, DO on one side, and the uh, W5100 Ethernet shield on the other side. And we've put in our micro SD card, loaded it with the images and the files, and now we are first going to program it. So, take our power here. Pick it up, and everything fires up there. Plug in our programming port, and we'll go to the computer. And we've got the... Uh, load it there, so we hit upload. And now it's going to compile. And upload again. The IP address shown there, um, that's a backup if you can't connect with DHCP. Um, so it doesn't work for alerts, so yeah, we gotta make sure we get it connected with the DHCP. So it's done now. Let's disconnect everything. Now, plug in our Ethernet cord. And this is coming from the power bar there. You can see it's plugged in. So I'll plug this into the back. And that's what connects it to Robotank. And then we'll take our power again, plug it in. And for debugging purposes, we'll plug our USB back in. And we'll open our serial window here. I want to make sure it's at 5700 baud. And first it'll say initializing SD card. It found it and it found the index file. So that's important that you see that. And now we just wait. Right now it's trying to connect to the router. And it just connected to the router successful. It showed my IP. And now it's done loading the user and password. Um, there's a text file on the SD card for the user password, so you can put any nine digit um, password and username there, and then it will read it. So let's go to the controller here, go into our settings, our system, and there's all our info. And if we hit retrieve again, it's going to retrieve it. Right now it is connecting to the internet and looking up uh, our local IP address, or external IP, sorry. And so it's found it, and everything's good. So now, we're down to... New Internet Explorer here. Address. Um, that address is right here, our local IP address, so it's ever on there. We want to type into our browser like that. Hit enter, and now it wants our username and password. And we are connected. Now, these didn't load here because there's still a little bug I have to fix here. So to get that showing, we're going to customize, outlets. When I exit this screen, it sends all the new different outlets that we selected uh, to here. So that this knows. So let's exit the screen. And there, it's updated. And you'll never have to do that again after you do it the first time. But <laughs> you won't have to do it the first time because I'll fix it. So, let's go to our home page here, and go to our power, and let's shut down everything. And it's all shut down. And start everything up again here. And there we go. Go back to our home page, resume, and it all resumes back as it was. And if we go here and click, so 
off and it shuts off. So that's basically it. Um, you just program it, plug it in, and you should have a working Ethernet. Hopefully this helps. Thanks.